Hey everybody, it's Charlie and you're watching Frisky Business. Today we are playing a new game. This is a Jackbox game called Fibbage, or more specifically, Fibbage XL. And the we that are playing is Bunny and Shell and I. This is our first time playing this game, and I'm sure we'll be playing it again with more people, such as uh, Draco and Suki and maybe some others that may be joining the Frisky Business family. If you've never heard of this game before, uh, as I said, it is a Jackbox game, and Jackbox games are very well known to be good party games. Uh, so if you have a gathering at your home with a bunch of people, uh, it's great to put one of these games on, and everybody submits their answers and plays on their phones. Um, and then you have one main screen, which is on your game console or your computer. In this particular game, uh, the object of the game is it gives us a fact, at usually a pretty strange one, with a fill in the blank, and everybody has to submit an answer on their phone. Uh, they have to submit a lie to try and fool others to guess their lie. If, they, if others guess their lie thinking that's the correct answer, they get more points. And then, while at the same time trying to guess which one is the correct answer or the truth. Without further ado, here we go. <laughs> All right, I guess we're ready. I wish I had more people, but maybe someday. Welcome to the game. Yeah, well, I'm your host, Cookie, but you can call me Cookie. I see there are three of you today. I hope this is a really weird double date. Let's do this. This is round one, and that means you get 500 points for everyone you fool with your made up answer. And you'll get a thousand for finding the truth. Select a category. Hmm. I don't know who the hell that is. Okay, here's your first question. Owning 55,000 of them, Ted Turner has the world's largest private collection of blank. Type in your lies now. Where's the truth? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, who picked what? Oh man. This is like the only logical one. What, bison? Really? Whatever. <laughs> He's got most of Dang us beat it. by about 55,000 bison, and he knows each one by name. That's the sign of a good leader. <laughs> and that Whatever. means some of these didn't get picked. Yeah, it's easy when you name them all the same thing. <laughs> Stay. Alright. This half Carl Jr., this half Coral Jr. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they what or the other? Pick a category. And I'm already losing, just like that. Okay, here's the question. An Indiana woman sued a church cemetery because they refused to install her late husband's tombstone shaped like a blank. <laughs> oh, God. Enter your lies now. Okay, here are your choices. <laughs> Dude, I'm going to pick this because I hope that's the answer. Oh, my God. I would absolutely love it. Let's see what everybody selected. <laughs> oh, come on. No, really? I was so hopeful. That was the only points I had, too. No way. Like a couch? Why would hey. you that money is one of the worst things you can find under a couch. Why would you let and allow that? Man, I did, that's the only points I had. Look at that. No, I... No, I guess because they don't want people just sitting on graves. Damn it. <laughs> or fighting over the remote. All right, <laughs> you put category. the same one. I think uh, okay, Shell and I question. had the same answer. 
Evergreen Cemetery includes an odd statue of Jesus wearing blank. Type in your lies now. <laughs> Hmm. I don't even know if I spelled it right, honestly. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean I shouldn't have picked that. I know it's not right. Dang Crocs it. Crocs are C R O C. There's no K. Hey, what did everyone pick? Yeah, I told you. Wait. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Cemetery is, of course, in Texas. Wow. And that means. Yep, still at the bottom. <laughs> 500 measly points. Wow. This is round two, which means all point values are doubled. Exciting. Interesting layout. Well, category. Oh, that's me. Okay, here's the question. To make it extremely difficult for telemarketers to pronounce, Tim Price changed his name in 2012 to Tim Blank. Enter your lies now. Where's the truth? <laughs> <laughs> There's no good. I think I actually know the answer, though. <laughs> All right, who picked what? <laughs> <laughs> If only, if only. I just picked the first one. Yeah. I think I remember. Rice. I think I remember and seeing that before. It. Nobody else's lives got picked. And I'm still at the bottom. <laughs> Come on. It's lonely down here. Select a category. Okay, here's the question. In 2013, the Rethink ad agency placed red beer fridges throughout Europe that could only be opened by blank. Type in your lies now. Oh crap, my... Oh, a screen lock. Damn it. <laughs> okay, which one's the truth? <laughs> um, <laughs> about, about Canadians? <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're all, all kind right, of. Let's see what everybody picked. <laughs> uh, I think that means I'm, that mine's correct then. Yep. No! What? <laughs> no fucking way. Are you serious? <laughs> they had to scan their passports to get the beer out. Sorry, I mean they had to scan their passports to get their beer out. Oh my god. What the hell? Who would do that? That's <laughs> fucked up. The rethink ad agency. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Jesus. Time to pick a category. Okay, here's the question. Unagi Travel is an unusual Japanese travel agency that sends your blank on vacations. Enter your lies now. Okay, here are your choices. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. I'm going for the little answer. It's probably not right, but I don't care. Let's 
Let's see what everybody selected. Your car. I bet you it's pets, though. Come on. Woohoohoo! Little answer wins. And that means this lie didn't get picked. For real, though, the, the amount of stuffed animals I have, it would cost me a fortune, I'm sure. We'll put them move up to the top. Yay! I am on top. I am on top. But I'm a bottom. Welcome to the final finish. <laughs> this is your final question, and it's worth triple. It's anybody's game. Here's your final fibbage question. Current brand name product that was originally called Baby Gaze in 1926. Type in your lies now. God damn it. Wait, what did it just right, do? Where's the truth? Okay. Baby gays. Jesus, I don't know. Oh wait, no, this is wrong. I want to change it. I know what it is. Okay, let's take a look. Oh man. It was Q-tips. <laughs> Nobody, nobody chose my answer. I thought Remember, mine was pretty good. Never stick a baby gay too far into your ear. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you fell for this one. Noted. What the hell did that? Happen? Wow. All right, you want to play again? Yeah. All right. Sure. Why not? Let's do this. I'm your host, Cookie, and I'm here to add meaning to your empty lives. Three players, like a triangle of total BS. Let's do this. Wow. All right. Rude. This is round one. You'll get 500 points for every one you fool, and you'll get 1,000 for finding the truth. All right, pick a category. Uh, who is that? Okay, here's your first question. Famed American poet Charles Bukowski's tombstone is engraved with the words, don't blank. Enter your lies now. You've never heard of Bukowski? Nope. Okay, hmm. which one's the truth? Don't die. <laughs> Let's see what everybody selected. Yay. What? And the rest of the board goes unselected. Let's <sighs> audition. Bling. Oh, puts, puts shell in the lead. Oh, my turn. Santa. Okay, Satan? here's the question. The Dutch version of Santa Claus has a helper named Blank Pete. Type in your lies now. Okay, here you go. Wow. The truth. Total guess. Oh, I know this one. All right, let's see what everybody picked. <laughs> oh. It's too obvious, I guess. Oh, man. You're the racist bastards. 
He literally does blackface. That's that's his whole thing. Dutch yeah. Dutch helper does the blackface. I actually knew that because of Dwight from The Office. I don't know why I didn't. Jesus, I completely forgot about that. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that too. Yeah, you, you know what I'm talking about. Sadly, yes. Okay, here's the question. <laughs> In 2008, well, a U.S. Customs and Border Protection officer was found guilty of granting citizenship in exchange for 200 blanks. Enter your lies now. <laughs> All right, where's the truth? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, it could be any of these. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I did not choose that then. So I think that, might, that means mine's right. I really hope mine is right <laughs> and not one of the other ones. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> in the officer's defense, oh, my God. Girls are delicious. And we're done. Mexican and OTM. You asshole. Alright. Oh, I'm on the bottom again. I guess that's where I belong, though. <laughs> now it's round two, where all point values are doubled. Let's do it. Time to pick a category. Go, me, go. Go, me, go. Okay, here's the question. The Chinese plant Psychotria alata is also known as blank lips. Type in your lies now. What? Okay, here are your choices. <laughs> Hooker's lips. <laughs> Who picked what? I did not pick that, asshole. <laughs> I picked Lucid, which is still would have been wrong, but fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> think alike oh we both put the same thing foolish. it was actually hooker's lips are you fucking kidding me no way rent it and smell it for a few hours oh my god that's so that was <laughs> right, i mean we were we were close Six. Were we though? Okay, here's the question. Oh, we were. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> with our answers. <laughs> South Africa while having sex on a blank. Enter your lies now. <laughs> okay, which one's the truth? <laughs> oh God. I hope it's not one of the, like, absolute ridiculous ones. Let's see what everybody selected. Oh, I picked, I picked a ridiculous one. Yeah. That was mine. Well, hippopotamus are... Oh, wait. The highest cause Yay. of death. Right. That's why that's why I put it as a lie. They could. They couldn't. See, the cool thing is, is if you actually put in a lie that actually ends up being the truth, it won't let you put it, which lets you know that's the answer. Yep. Yeah, I'm in the middle. I think it's better than being on the bottom for me. I'll do that any day. Back on the bottom. Why would I pick any bun, bun, of these? Bun, bun, bun. 
Dun, dun, Why not? Dun. Okay, okay, phenomenon. You are experiencing the Mariko Aoki phenomenon when you have the urge to poop while blank. Type in your lies now. Oh my god. Um, how about no? Where's none, the truth? none of them. <laughs> In a bookstore? <laughs> what? <laughs> I hope this is right. Because right, the other ones are kind of disturbing. Oh, no. <laughs> Damn it. This is like the only logical one. I think none of these are logical. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> gimme, gimme. Oh, thank God. Look what we have. In a bookstore? No way. Why is that a thing? And you're Why? The what the hell? Phenomenon when you actually do it in the reference section. <sighs> oh my god. It's okay. I had to pick that category. Wow. <laughs> god damn it. Wow, it tied us up. <laughs> Sounds fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm good with that. <laughs> You tie me up any day. The final countdown. It's the final countdown. Okay, here is your final fibbage question. What the British call the dance that Americans call the hokey pokey. Oh my god, I know oh this no. one. I think. I'll know it if I see it, which I will because there has to be a right answer. I totally did not spell that right. Okay, here are your choices. Hokey Cokey? <laughs> did you dance? <laughs> okay, what did everyone pick? Oh, man! Oh, that was a good answer, too. I knew. One day, watching British TV would help me. Why? Out. Why would they call it that? I don't know. They just do. It's the hokey cokey. Hey. That's stupid. Oh, what? Yes. <laughs> You're kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> the final question. Yes. And I got it. Ridiculous. Oh, my God. Uh, amazing is what you need. That, All right. That's the word for that. All right, one more. We got to do one more. <laughs> I got to have a chance at winning this thing. Well, you did have a chance, and then I swooped in like a hot shot. Well, I don't have a chance now. I still got to <laughs> so have, have a chance. And I look forward to seeing the worst in each of you. <gasps> I had a dream last night. This would be a three-player game, and it's coming true. Let's do this. Edgy. That's not a euphemism for anything. Yeah, right. <laughs> Can't say I've ever had a dream like that, honestly. Leon. Okay, here's your first question. In 2013, a zoo in China attempted to pass off a blank as an African lion. Oh my god. Ah. Oh. oh god. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. A cow in a robe? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's take a look. Wait a minute, I know that one is wrong. God damn it. Yeah, I think it was the one that's similar to that one. I'm hoping, because that's what I picked. Yeah. I.E. Yep. Which is really funny, because at MFM every year, there's a guy that has a golden retriever uh, that's a service dog, and he always brings a mane, and it makes him look lion-esque. It's really cute, though. Do, do, boo, do, boo, boo, do. All right, I'm in first place, so that means this thing will last long. Select a category. 
Heavy metal. Okay, here's the question. The lead singer of the heavy metal band Hatebeak is blank. Hatebeak? And here lies now. What do we need to call our man? Uh, how about Hatebeak? Okay. Where do band names get their names from anyways? I mean, really. You just make them up, but Hatebeak? I mean, it's, you could put anything for this answer. <laughs> like... <laughs> A Where's parrot, retarded, a donkey, chicken legs. I don't know what that word is, but it's not chicken. I don't know, but it makes me want to pick it, though. Me too. All right, who picked what? We all picked it. God damn oh, it. Oh, no. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> a parrot. No way. No way. You know that band, don't guess... you? I guess we should have been a good clue. No, 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 no. Shell, <laughs> you, Shell, you yes. know that band, don't you? <laughs> yep. You know the, the most obscure fucking metal bands I've ever heard. <laughs> okay, so let me ask you this. Who's Chicken Legs? Because I bet you that's another person, isn't right, it? Pick a category. No, uh, it wasn't. <laughs> oh, okay. That was my lie. Damn. I just wanted to pick it because it was spelled funky. I gotta look up that band now. <laughs> Although very unconventional, farmer William von Schneidau feeds his pigs blank. Type in your lies now. <laughs> okay, here's your choice. <laughs> Marijuana. <laughs> right, going for the obvious answer. Which may not be right. Okay, what did everyone pick? Oh! <laughs> damn it, buddy. Ha <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 goes around, <laughs> comes around. <laughs> well, you guys blew it. It was marijuana, damn it. No way. That was my second Come choice, on. but I was like, no, that would be too. Yeah. To get jobs. Same. God damn it. And nobody fell for this one. Oh, money. Money, 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 money. One, two, three. Speak. Just like that. This is round two, which means all point values are doubled. Exciting. What is that? Time to pick a category. Okay, here's the question. Tashi Rojima is an island off of Japan that is completely overrun by blank. Enter your lies now. I think I know this one actually. Okay, which one's the truth? I think I know this one. All right, let's see what everybody picked. It's the monkeys. Hey, hey, we're the monkeys. Oh, those bunnies. Oh, <laughs> sorry. And it was also what? But I put that. Yeah, I, was just saying, oh. I thought that would have been a bunny lie. That was yeah. Weird. Yeah, I remember seeing a video on once. It's called. I will it's never called the cat island. ever step foot on that island. Why not? You know me and cats. I do not. No. I do not like cats. <laughs> Why and, not? Me and cats do not get along. Oh, that day. Ah, uh, how about Uggs under the grate? Alexander the. Okay, Good job. <laughs> wow. Alexander the great made his men blank before a battle. Type in your lies now. All right, where's the truth? Bathe. <laughs> oh, man, I shouldn't have picked that. That's actually kind of a dumb answer. Let's see what everybody selected. Ding. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Oh no! <laughs> Shave. God here. damn it. Nobody ever picks my answers. What the hell? And we're done. Because you spelled it wrong. I did? Yes. You I are. I did. I did. Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. I didn't even think about this. <laughs> ah! <laughs> All right, pick a category. Fuck me and my spelling. Okay, here's wrote. the question. Edwin E. Holmes, a man with very specific interests, wrote the 254-page book, A History of Blank. Enter your lies now. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. A history of pencils, history, thimbles, and paper. I feel like I've I've heard this name before, so I'm gonna go with okay, a certain a answer. Yeah, H. H. Holmes, the first serial killer. That's not what I chose, but okay, nice. I'll take hey, it. Don't, don't knock it. The first 253 pages are kind of a drag, but then it gets good. That is not at all what I chose, but I'll take it. It is now. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't make any difference on the scoreboard, though. Nope. Damn it, I'm on the bottom again. Oh, I gotta get this one. I have to get this one. Good luck. Triple. Good luck. Here's your final fibbage question. Wilma Flintstone's maiden name. Oh crap, I know this. Oh man, I forgot. Okay, here are your choices. <laughs> Fraggle Rock. I'm pretty sure I got this wrong, but okay, whatever. What did everyone pick? I'm pretty sure I know it. I think me and Shell probably got it. Yep! That's a terrible name. I know my cartoon! I would have changed it to Flintstone too. Being progressive enough to hyphenate her name to Wilma Slaghoople Flintstone. And nobody picked the other lies up there. I Seriously, though, I think the only reason I even remember that is because of the movie with John Goodman. I think it was John Goodman. There's two different ones. But anyways, I remember that name being tossed around. I don't. How the fu- Oh, come on! I give up. I suck. 